Hello, I'm Brian Dearden. I'm the Chief Microbiologist at the Department of Health. Pneumococcal disease is caused by a bacterium. It's called Streptococcus pneumoniae. And that indicates one of the main things it does. It causes pneumonia, but it also causes other invasive infections. It can affect old people and cause pneumonia and other chest infections. It can affect young children when it can get into the bloodstream and cause septicemia. It's also a most important cause of meningitis in very young children. In some people, it can get into the sinuses, and into the mastoid, and into the middle ear and cause otitis, middle ear infection, sinusitis, and mastoiditis. This is a very common organism. Most of us carry it at some stage in our throats, but quite harmlessly. It's when it becomes virulent and gets into the lungs, it causes pneumonia, or it invades into the bloodstream and gets on, goes on to cause meningitis and septicemia. If you get pneumococcal disease in the elderly, it's usually a chest infection that can go on from something like a, a cold or, or flu, and they get short of breath, um, coughing, they bring up green sputum, sometimes with some blood in it. And that's the typical picture of uh, pneumonia. In the very young, it's, a, it's a more non-specific. They're unwell. They have a high temperature because the organism gets into the bloodstream. So it's a febrile infection. And they also can have the signs of meningitis, a stiff neck, uh, vomiting, generally unwell and unresponsive. And that needs uh, prompt attention. The treatment of pneumococcal disease is with antibiotics. It, it responds very well to the penicillin types of antibiotics. Some strains are now resistant to standard penicillin, but that's only a minority still. Pneumococcal disease is not something you can actively prevent in terms of the specific infection, say, following uh, an influenza illness. The important preventive measures are to, tr to look after yourself when you have a cold and flu, particularly in the elderly patients, but also to have the vaccination uh, that's provided against this infection. Immunisation against pneumococcal disease is very important. It's now part of the infant immunisation scheme to prevent the septicemia and meningitis that they can get. It's also given as an immunisation for elderly people to help protect them against invasive pneumococcal disease.